hello beautiful souls welcome to my channel this is your favorite fortune teller divine light and today i'm gonna do a general coffee cup reading for this week and uh, at the end of your reading i'm gonna pull some cards to get some clarity if if you have any questions in your mind also i'm offering uh private readings now so if you want from one from me you can go to the link in the description box and um you know see my ads shop down there if you're enjoying these videos don't forget to give them a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel at the end of this video we're gonna have a sweepstakes so if you're watching this video right now go ahead push subscribe and give this one a thumbs up and comment down below make sure to comment down below so at the end of this week i'm gonna have a sweepstakes and uh i'm gonna give a coffee cup reading to the one who just pulls up from the thing actually no i'm gonna do two readings i'm gonna give out two different readings to the one the whatever that uh the device pulls up okay the sweepstakes thing machine all right guys let's jump into it and let's see what's coming your way okay let's see what's happening in here well, if you have any like um burden, anything weighing you down, that's all going to be clearing out very soon, okay? And um, I see big fish here. Uh, this can be like uh, something that is going to be coming your way. Um, that fish indicates money, wealth, and abundance. So this can be a little gift that you're going to be manifesting or a promotion. Something small that's going to be, but it's going to just clear out this uh, energy whatever it is just weighing you down i see a penguin here very clearly penguins they made for life this can be a life partner showing up here for you or maybe you are deciding to step into this energy and create this that kind of like um life partner and attract this into your life maybe there's going to be a decision coming for you or even this can be like good friends, family coming together and uh, supporting you in the something that you're going to be committing to. And uh, because this person, like, and whatever it is, it's going to be bringing a lot of fun into your life. I see there's a horse here. This horse can be something that you really desire to manifest, but it's been taking a while. This road, like, it's on a path, okay? You can see right there, it's on a path. And um, so this is something that you have in your mind that you didn't really take any steps forward but there's going to be something happening this this week and you're going to start taking steps towards it i see towards the end of the week there is actually a roof this also looks like a tent this can be a representative of a new opportunity to change your place wherever you're living uh, maybe an opportunity of buying a house for yourself can even be something that like camping going to the woods and uh maybe changing the you know the environment the 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 air wherever you are maybe there's going to be a change of air coming your way okay i see you here in the middle of the week there's actually an international path opening here but this can be uh maybe if you ordered something from another country that might be coming in i see you riding a dinosaur there are another person behind you dinosaurs actually represents because of their nature nature of ancient like they are ancient creatures so this can be something that is going to be um like for the long term uh, a commitment a step forward even maybe like um vacation popped into my head maybe you want to go to somewhere for a vacation which you will decide to maybe move later on with a person here i see i also see here there's a weird creature this looks like a cat wearing um you know a crown here so this can be something that you're going to be doing lovingly or like you're maybe it's time to just take care of yourself because like your energy is maybe feeling a little stuck here. You can see there's a little dark thing aura is happening here. But I feel like you're going to find a way to just, you know, wash this off of you. And uh, also I see there's like a protection over you. Something is protecting you. So whatever is happening right now, it doesn't really matter. It's going to probably go away eventually and you're going to be protected in this situation. Okay. And, um, I see someone here in the middle of the week. This can be someone who's just walking away really fast and they have a puppy on their 
on their back. So this can be someone very loyal to you, maybe walking towards you. I see a letter E as in maybe Eric, Erica, but this looks like a male figure and he has like a wand in his hand, can be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone maybe very fiery, very like, because they're walking really fast. Maybe they want to get things done. This person is walking towards you, coming into your life, maybe bringing you a gift or maybe just um, if you are in need of help, they're going to show up to give you the help. And as soon as they arrive, the air changes totally. You can see there's a light breeze coming in. I see a mask here. This actually reminds me of the devil card from Tarot, which represents a Capricorn. This does this is not a bad thing. The the devil card usually uh, represents like um, obsessive thinking, maybe getting stuck in something or addictions. But this can be also like um something that you're actually obsessively thinking that you want to create as well. It doesn't have to be also like um you know all negative, okay? And um, you can interpret this however you want. This can also be a person that is uh, maybe stuck in your mind. Might be a Capricorn. I see the phone lines are appearing here. So you might actually connect with this person to clarify a situation. And I see an eagle here, a face of an eagle just flying over towards you. Eagles represents freedom, okay? Free thinking, opening your wings in the air and just freeing yourself from a burden or even just stepping into an energy that is going to be freeing your future maybe just um, establishing your own company or just creating your own product or something that is going to give you freedom it doesn't have to be any of these things um whatever that makes you feel free you're going to have the opportunity to do that thing at the end of the week and while you're doing this thing i also see like uh, there's a snail. There's another snail. And I said like there's a moving, moving happening here. So the snails might be indication that people that are actually moving with you. I also see here someone with large glasses. Very curious looking at you. Someone maybe this person might be helping you or causing you to move out of that situation. And there's a new path opening here. And whatever it is, I saw you right here. I'm going to show you right now. There's someone looking with curiosity and they're number eight. This symbolizes money. And when I flip it like that, I see this magic lamp right here. Magic lamp is your desire. Uh, like when I cover this head of this person, your desire, whatever that you want to manifest. And you're working on this for a while, maybe thinking through it a lot, a, a while. And it's going to be about money or starting something new, even finding a person that is compatible with your mind. And I see you're actually walking with somebody here just back to back. But whatever it is, it's actually going to be happening. This desire of yours is actually going to be manifesting. This can be even like a nana here, grandma, I see, that is giving you help. Maybe someone from your family that is giving you the support that you need. Even this can be like a emotional support as well. Um, also, you know, maybe like some, you know, uh, a friend or some family member just backing you up in your case if you have something going on. All right, guys, I'm going to get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind and let's see what the answer is going to be. Okay, there's actually a, a little heavy uh, energy surrounding you here. I see a couple kissing. I don't know if any of you manifesting love or maybe just parting away, but there is something, whatever that desire rings have happening so fast. It's going to be coming in your life really fast. This can be there are two people coming together, putting their heads together, building something. This can be like a lifelong friend or a partner that you have giving you a hand in the things that you want to uh, create. Okay. And there is at the end of this thing, there's actually a huge fish here appearing. Fish indicates this whale indicates wealth, abundance and money coming your way. So if you're building something with someone that is actually going to be very like you're going to be very productive, which will bring you lots of money at the end. This doesn't have to be like financial business and stuff. This can also be like a relationship that you're building uh, at your work or maybe in your, in, you know, in your friendships. That, that kind of thing might be that is romance. This can be romance as well, okay? Because I see here a beautiful rose, which indicates love. So whatever this is, this is something that you love doing, okay? By the way, I'm going to do your reading with that kind of a cup as well. And let's get you the cards. Let's see what the cards are selling you. 
we have here this is the tarot of the light oracle tarot from chris n we have the full card here libra energy a new beginning is coming whatever that you are actually manifesting right now that's coming your way ten of wands however i feel like you need to either you put some energy into it it's coming to an end now you just put some work into it you have been working on a business maybe a relationship this uh, wands do not really represent relationships they uh, represent creative ventures that you're doing and uh, you Either you put some energy into it or the opportunity will present itself and it's going to require some of your energy. Which is in the original tarot, you see this guy carrying the sticks, the ones that, the sticks that he actually collected for winter, carrying them to his home. So whatever the energy you put in is actually going to be uh, coming back for you, okay? You're going to be using that energy that's going to be your energy and what like this can be a creative venture like we said but there might be some competition and you're going to be rising above that competition okay you're going to be very well aware of that and uh, you're going to be rising above that and this is if this is a romantic thing that you're asking me questions like you're going to be the chosen one but i keep seeing the money is coming we have the ace of pentacles so you're going to be manifesting uh, a new income opportunity a new uh, thing like um new money and new um passion uh ace of pentacles ace of wands this is actually a new passion coming your way a new thing that you're going to be starting which will bring you a lot of fulfillment which will be probably lasting for generations as well we have the ten of pentacles which is one of the best uh, cards in tarot which you can actually have the money and enjoy it with your family and loved ones okay all right let's see what your street animal is actually letting you know what's going on with that one let us see let us see okay llama soul growth growth is never easy have faith and trust in the journey so basically you're gonna have the journey but this is gonna bring you massive growth and you can see there are two llamas here and mountains you're gonna actually get over this to climb up these mountains and be um you know victorious at the end and llama is represented of the soul growth eventually you're gonna have a soul growth you're gonna have uh, the companion with you as well okay and i also have the flamingo here i want to show you that one as well because i see also family here this is actually confirming this doesn't have to be like blood relatives this can be like a family that you're going to be forming okay all right, guys, we have the Flamingo it says Unity Heart. You are being called to work on collective healing. All right. Um, this can be like maybe there are some things that is going to surface while you are doing this work. And when they surface, you might have to maybe, uh, you know, get rid of that, uh, you know, negativity that maybe past things that are weighing you down. Like be aware of that, but you're going to be supported. And I see here number either six or nine in reverse. Six actually means trust, care, balance, nurturing. And nine means enlightenment, understanding, and self-awareness, okay? And having patience in the situation to actually, uh, you know, get over the, you know, actually get to the get to the target you have. Get to your vision that you have in your mind. All right, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you want to be a part of the sweepstakes. I'm going to do it on this Sunday. Today is uh, the 9th of October. I'm going to do it this Sunday. And so I'm going to pull two uh, people and give them away private readings and for, you know, for free. All right, guys, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading and uh, I'll see you next time. Have a magical day. Bye.